What's up guys? My name is Daz and welcome to my YouTube channel. I healed a motor tick. I had a motor tick all the way down the right hand side of my body. My hand, my arm, my neck, my shoulders. And my eyes and my nose at the beginning were, were ticking many years ago. 20 years I had this condition and I've most recently healed myself using natural and holistic methods in this channel. I share with you practices, principles and exercises that I've used to heal my condition. But in this video I want to just share my thoughts about um, being ready to heal. Being ready to let go of this condition. So I've recently joined a, a lot of these Facebook groups and, and subreddits and, and sort of private communities and forums um, focused on motor tick, vocal ticks and Tourette's and uh, I, I just like to share what I see right and and what I see is a lot of people um, uh, who are very powerless who feel very powerless who feel as if like they don't have control over themselves, their life, what they're doing, where they're going, their own emotions. I see a lot of people who are, who are uh, in this state of uh, survival and panic and pain and frustration and complete and utter powerlessness. Is that you? Is that how you feel? Powerless. With this condition, is, is that how you feel? Do you feel powerless? That your body is moving by itself? Do you feel like there's nothing you can do? Or do you believe, that it, does part of you believe that you can let go of this thing? Is there a part of you that you can connect with that goes, ah, Miracles can happen. Things can change. Let's be honest, there's stories of humans doing far more incredible things and feats than stopping a tick. On one side, it, it pains me and it hurts me to see so many adults and teenagers in pain from this condition. Because I know I've been there. But at the same time I feel frustration that you don't see the power that you have to create your life and create your body and change things. If your body is ticking by itself and doing things or moving here or your hands going like this or your neck's going like this or your eyes going, doesn't matter like what it is. If your body's moving by itself, there's a part of you inside, deep inside you, that's choosing to do it. There's a part of you that's making those movements happen. There's a part of you doing that. It's you. And I know you're like, no, it's not me, something else is, no, it's you. You are doing that, but, and this is the trick, and this is how I've healed. You have to find that part of you that's doing that. And that concept can be quite difficult to understand initially. I have to find a part of me that's making my body move. Where, where do I look for it? <laughs> where do I find that part of me that's moving my body without me wanting it to move? Right? And that's the inner world. I describe it as the inner world. It's the, it's the mental world. It's the, it's the phys physical body. It's the part of your awareness that you can tune into and discover. Freud talked about the shadow aspects of a human being. It's the part of you 
which you're not seeing is making your body move. And so you have to learn how to see it. It's about seeing yourself, seeing your full self. Instead of ignoring it, getting frustrated, whining on the internet, um, getting annoyed with yourself, feeling disempowered. Instead of all of those emotions, which will make it worse, it's not going to go away by moaning about it. You have to embrace that part of you. Embrace who you are to your fullest expression. That includes your tick. You've got to allow he or she in. Allow them. Your body's like a big memory chip and we store memories all over the place. The trauma is literally stored in the fascia tissue. Trauma is but emotions that haven't been processed. And I'll tell you what, as a child, growing up in this world today, we all experience a lot of trauma that we have not processed. <laughs> so if you think you don't have any trauma, uh, think again. Think again. We all do. And that's beautiful. It means that we can find something grasp it, understand it, look at it, allow it to be, tick melts away. This is, this, this is, these are concepts that I've used in healing my motor tick and uh, it might feel a little bit metaphorical um, but literally your reality is one big metaphor. Your body is created based on what you do over and over again, your habits over and over again, right? If you become really good at moving your body in a certain way, your, 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 the energy of those parts of your brain and that circuitry becomes hypersensitized, you know? Those of us who have a motor tick are, are you know, highly sensitive beings. We, we, like for, for some reason, our, our, our feeling and touch, our inner world is, is like it's alive and that's the part of us that, have, that expresses when we are uncomfortable for some reason. And when we are uncomfortable for some reason, and that keeps happening, this again, 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 then the tick gets worse and worse and worse. And we have to understand the root cause of this tick. Enough of the powerlessness. This motor tick, vocal tick, even Tourette's, because that's what Tourette's is, is just like a, both of those things together. I myself only had a motor tick, so one could argue it's slightly less severe than full-on Tourette's, right? <clears throat> but still, the same techniques and attitude resonate with, with all of these, whether it's vocal tick, motor tick, or Tourette's, nervous twitch, it's all the same stuff. It's part of you. You, 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 you. It's part of you. Your tick is you. Listen to, listen to him or her. Understand him or her. Understand why it's happening. Still the mind, listen to what's going on. The tick is part of you, and it's up to you to find out why, what's going on, what does the tick represent in this holographic mind, this multi-dimensional experience we are playing out as a human on this planet. You have the potential to stop this tick, stop acting so powerlessly, that's not a word, but powerless. Good. I think that's enough for one day. <laughs> Check out my other videos, hit subscribe, and uh, keep watching my channel and my videos, and something will click. Something will click, and when it clicks, you'll go, oh, oh, and then it, you'll have this intuition, this insight to, to do something, to act on something, to, to hear the, the thoughts that are streaming in to you whilst you're listening to me, and, 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 and hear them. Hear them. Okay. Peace out, brothers and sisters. We'll chat again soon. Have a wonderful day. Say hi to your tick. Love every part of your being, and you can heal this condition. I've done it. You can too.